Here are the three Dell laptops that are in my house. We actually have five laptops total because my father has a Dell laptop that he uses for work and my mother has an HP. But these are the three Dell laptops that we have that are sort of ours, I guess. The one on the left, my father's owned for a long time. The one in the middle, uh, he recently bought for parts. And the one on the right is mine. So, the one on the left here is a Dell Vostro 1000. Uh, has Windows Vista on it. AMD processor. The hinges are very flimsy. This one, the battery is pretty much toast in it, so it's essentially a desktop because it doesn't run without being plugged in. This middle one is a Dell Inspiron 1525. And the hinges are very strong. Silver um, interior. Same keyboard, actually, as this one. Just different color, same trackpad, too. Pretty much. This one's very gross on the top. Supposedly it boots into BIOS, and that's it. It's got Windows Vista on it. And the one on the right is a Dell Latitude E5430. I bought this used with Windows 7 on it. Um, it has Windows 7 Enterprise on it currently. So, let's see. It popped out. I actually have the manufacturer dates written down here, too. The Vostro was made on... 8 August 2007. The Inspiron was made on 23 August 2008, and the Latitude was made on made on 8 September 2013. So, here's the two chargers. They're identical chargers. This one came with the Inspiron, and this one came with the Vostro, but I use it with my Latitude. So, we'll boot up all of them here. Um, just a generic Dell. I think, what's the model of these? There's a certain model number that these chargers are called. Um, let me find it. Uh, PA-12. So the Vostro is here. It needs to be plugged into work, and I've never actually booted up the Inspiron, even though it just goes into BIOS. So I'll plug the other charger in, and I'm going to assume that it probably won't boot up without being plugged in either. Charger's on the side. So there's the light and mine. So I'll turn this one or open it. This one's hinges are very strong. And we'll open mine. So we'll boot them up. So you can see there it goes booting into BIOS. Yeah, see. Um the Vostro is extremely slow, in case you can't tell. Vostro 1000, AMD 64. The other two have Intel processors. The one on the right is going to need a password. Um, it's the one on the right. I'll go ahead and put the... Oh, yep. Yeah, see, there you go. No, uh... So that one's booting up. No hard drive. Um, this one is turning on. Oh, there goes this one, too. Again, it's extraordinarily slow. Super quiet. It's the same startup sound as Windows 7. This one has the old or a different sound on it. So this one's kind of a hunk of crap. You can see it's got the buttons up here. It's kind of a fancy one. They light up. Uh, this one here, there's all of Windows Vista and its glory. We'll try and open just Microsoft Word. And then this one, we can, uh, well, we'll open Microsoft Word. Um, and this is the only one that will connect to the internet. But there's that one open to Microsoft Word 2007. This one also is Microsoft Word 2007. And then, you know, you could type. Since it's hard to touch type, we could touch type and say, this is a I do like the keyboard on here. Spacebar is a little, um, you really got to smash the spacebar in. And then over here, you could say, say, 
this. And then we said, this is a test on the Dell uh, E5430. It's the only one that's still functional. So I'll show you here. We can open Mozilla, since that's my preferred browser. So that's pretty much this one. So I will show, no, I'm not going to put it through that stress. So you can see like here, um, you click this, 0% available, char plugged in, charging, whatever. So we'll close this. Don't need to save this document. Um, you can see here it's like a random Word doc. This one does not go on the internet. This computer pretty much has a uh, two. Um, this was a. Oh yeah, you can't do that. I'm used to modern trackpads. Random stuff. Um, this one pretty much has two uses: uses taxes and playing Diablo because it's easy to run on here. So. Close that out, power it off here. Very quiet. And then this one, we will go ahead and just power off. Very sticky and gross. He didn't pay much for this machine. Windows Vista Home Basic. And then there, you're on Mozilla Firefox and you could go to YouTube and it's kind of slow because it, when it first boots up, it doesn't like Mozilla. But, okay, so that one shut down. Pull this out, light goes off. Um, try to show you here. Maybe we'll open a new tab and type, uh, what could we type? We could type Lakewood box fan and then enter. And there's all the different stuff popping up on Mozilla. And then when you type in Lakewood box fan, now you can go to Google Images. I don't like Google Chrome or Mozilla. That's not a vintage Lakewood box fan. It's a brace-bladed box fan. And then there's all the, you know, whatever. It's good. This is the only one that also holds a charge, although it is looking rather dead. This one has its own noises as well. Close. And shut down. Still has the same noise there. And then it says logging off, shutting down. It's got Windows 7 Enterprise. My main computer has Windows 7 Professional on it. Might make a video about that too. If this one, you know, if people like these types of videos, I don't really get it. I'm not huge into computers, but eh, it's cool enough. And then this one's shutting down. When I lived in my old house, this was my main computer, and I had it hooked up to a monitor, a mouse, keyboard, and speakers. I had it sitting on top of a trash can that was flipped over. Just I would sit it all day and just have the lid. Actually, usually I would just do it like that and then have it powering everything. So, yeah. Uh, this was my main computer for a period of time. This one has 8 gigabytes of RAM, by the way. Don't know how much those two have. I would assume this was probably 4, if that, maybe even 2 or 1. Um, but then we come over here, and I'll show you this. This is another Dell. This is a Dell XPS 400 computer. This is a basement computer. This is probably going to be a subject of another video. But with that said, hopefully you've enjoyed my video on these wonderful Dell computers. This is a very long video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.